Hi, I'm Mike Haddock, and I've been a Mason for over 50 years. I grew up in the business. My dad's been a Mason over 70 years. Today the subject is going to be repointing brickwork. Some people call it rejointing or redoing, repointing, whatever you want to call it. A lot of brick joints fall out and people want to know how to do them. So today we're going to go into that. I'm going to show you some old school stuff and some new school stuff. Now what's the difference between doing stonework and brickwork? Well stonework is God made and brickwork is man made. Stonework is usually a lot denser and it's easier to clean up with a sponge. Brickwork you can't do that all the time because they make all different types of brick. So we're going to talk about that and what kind of cement to use. Now behind me I got a lot of different bricks. I'm going to show you what the differences are. So I laid some brick across this board with the horses and if you ever look at these horses this is what we used in the old days to build cellars with. They didn't use iron uh, scaffolding, we used all wood. Uh, iron scaffolding is basically the last 40 years. <clears throat> now we look at this brick. This is an old school brick. It was probably made in the 1800s. But this brick absorbs water. So we know and it's solid. So when we, if we do repointing on this brick it'll be a little different. This one is actually made out of cement. See it? It's like a cement type of brick. This absorbs water. This is a concrete brick. This absorbs water. This, it's like a clay brick, but it's a harder brick, and it doesn't absorb as much water as this, but it has holes in it. The holes fill up with water in our area, freezes in the winter, and busts them apart. This is like a rock face brick. What they do is they, they chip the back of the brick and they make a rock face brick. Now this is like a brick. I did a whole job on this. It has holes in it, but this is like glass. So if I, it, was, it would be easy for me to clean this with a sponge. This would be easy. This wouldn't because it's got a lot of uh, stuff where the cement had stayed. This wouldn't. This would be okay. This right here. That would be easy to clean, but they didn't do it in the old days. And right here we have fire brick. This is what they use inside of fireplaces. This absorbs water like a sponge. And this is just a piece of limestone, and this is a piece of sandstone. I'm just going to show you all the differences and why and how to repoint the brick. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix the cement. We're going to get a bag of this mortar mix. It says here, just add water. That means the sand and the cement is already in it. It says, used for construction and repair of brick, block, and stone. Barbecues, planters, tuck pointing, mortar joints, pillars, walls. There's the guy right there doing the stuff. And it says, exceeds the performance requirements of ASTM, American Standard Testing of Materials, C. 270 type and mortar. Type and mortar means it has half Portland, half mortar, and whatever sand they put in it, I don't know because they don't tell me, but it's the standard for like what we're going to do. I wouldn't use it for a patio or nothing flat on the ground, but for what we're going to do, that's fine. So I'm just going to pick it up, kind of cut it open like that. You can open it any way you want. Like I said, sand and cement is all in it. So we're going to take what we need. We're only going to mix what we need in, say, a couple hours. I'd say that's about all we're going to need. Now, the only thing I'm going to do, so now I'm just going to add the water. That's all you got to do with this stuff. Now, years ago, it wasn't like this. When I started, there was no sand mixes like this. We used to add the water as we need it. Mix it with a trowel. Don't make a big project or a big deal out of it. Anybody could do it. Now if you notice, alright, it's a little stiff. So, you want to make it maybe a little more stickier. Add a little more water like that. That should be close to what we need. You go like that, it sticks to the trolley, you see? 
like that, it sticks to the trowel. If you just pick it up and turn it, it falls off. You go like that, it basically sticks to the trowel. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay these brick just like if I was laying them in the real world. See that? Get it down and you scrape it off. You see that? You scrape it off. The next thing we're going to do we're going to put it in the back and we're going to leave a hole there because we're going to pretend that we got to joint this. I want to. I want you to see how they laid a brick. I'm going to explain how to joint it right after that. So this is going to lay here. Now this is sucking the water in already, right? Let's go to the next bricks. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to prove some points here that you should know what the difference is between the bricks. All right. Same thing. Lay it just as if we're laying a real brick. All right. And then put it in the back because we're going to pretend that we have to fix the brick. Just like that. We're going to leave that space. Then we're going to come and we're going to fill that in. So I'm keeping going, you see. I'm laying them. And I'm going to say, Mike, geez, that, that cement's pretty, pretty hard, isn't it? Scrape it off. Well, yeah. But there's a reason for that. The reason for that is today it's like 40 degrees, right? It's not 80, 90 degrees, 40 degrees. Now this is the one, look at the water going, or the cement going down the holes, right? This is the one that does not absorb water. It's like glass, okay? So we use a harder cement because of that because it's like glass. The same thing, we're leaving that space. We're gonna come back and rejoint these. I'm gonna show you the difference. Now all these bricks are dry. All these bricks are dry, they're very dry. You never wet your bricks because you're gonna make a mess, okay? So, okay, we laid all our bricks, just like that. Here's what you do with brickwork. You have different types of jointers. So you go to the first one. We're gonna use this joiner, old school joiner. See it? You can actually get a little piece, a little extra if you got a hole in there. Join it up. This one, we can use a fancier joiner. See that groove in it? It leaves a groove in it. See it? See that groove? It's a little groove in it. This one, we're gonna go back with it a little bit. See that? I don't know what you would call that. That was a big style in the 60s and 70s. The same, we're gonna use a different tool here. This one has a little hole on the side which doesn't mean much. See that little hole in there? It's like a little groove. Depends on what kind of look you want on your joints. See that? Just slick them up. This one, slick it up again. Then we get a very soft brush. See that very soft brush? Just kind of brush them off. Just like that. All right? Just like that. Now, let me show you something. Now, here's where I'm going to make my point. This brick, that cement hardened right up. It sucked the water right out of it. This brick, that's still soft because it doesn't absorb water. Now, that's going to mean a lot when we go jointing. That's why this one's dirty already. This one is clean. And the, this is a little dirty because this doesn't absorb water fast. This is a little dirty. This didn't get dirty and this didn't get dirty. It dried. It dried a lot. See? It dries up. We get over here. That's still wet. 
So that's, see how, how dirty that got? Sometimes you can get a sponge, you wring it out, and you could go over that brick like that, but sometimes you can't. Let me dirty this brick up. All right. And tomorrow that's going to be white, and we're going to see. Some brick you could do that the same day if you have a bad spot. And it won't show it on the brick, but it'll leave a film. This one, it gets into the grooves. So we're going to let that go until tomorrow morning, and then we're going to clean it. I'm going to show you how we do that. Well, we're back the next day. Let's look at the joints. All right, that's good. That's pretty good. That's good. You can see right here I got that film like I told you. I got some film here because of the sponge. Now look at this joint. This is white. It, it whitened up a lot. This is still dark. Same cement. This lightened up a lot. Look at how much it lightened up hip, up here. Why is that? Because this brick sucked the water right out of that. Sucked the water right out of that. I expected that over here, but that brick might have been a little damp. I don't know. But that's what happens. Now does this hold up good? Is this gonna stick? Yeah, it's stuck. See? Now here's what we're gonna do to clean this in the morning. All we're gonna do is have a little hose and a regular scrub brush. Because this cement is still soft. It takes a, it takes a couple days to really get hard. But if you get there the next day and you'll scrub it, sometimes even like that, see? It'll start to come off, but you still got that film. So the first thing you do is you wet it and you get your scrub brush and you scrub it and all that film should come off. See it? Well, I wet this one up here for a reason. I scrub it. Here. I scrub it. You see that? Over here. Scrub it. We get down here. We scrub it. Same thing. Scrub it. That'll get all that film off of it, and it'll make it look good by the next day. Now sometimes, if we didn't get there in time, we got to use a steel brush. Use this end to get any of the bad stuff off, wet it again, and do it with the steel brush. That usually does the trick. We're going to talk about acid later. Now we're going to repoint inside here, okay? So I mixed my cement up, and here it is, but look at it's too wet. You know, if I start shoving that in there, let me show you. If I start shoving it in there wet, like that, see it? See, it's too wet. It's getting on the brick. I don't want it to get on the brick like that. See it? It's, it's almost dripping. So what am I going to do? So I'm going to get some more cement and tighten it up. I'm going to make it a little bit more stiff. I don't want the wetness coming out of it. I want it to be drier. You see that? I'm making it drier. Now that looks a little better. It's still a little wet. But let's see what happens now. I'll take a little bit like this. So now I'm putting it in. It's a little bit drier. Now I'm not, I'm not making a mess not as bad as I was before. You see that? This is still wet. It's too wet. It's dirtying the sides of the brick. Now let's say, can I go a little drier with it? So I come back again. Now I'm going to make it a lot more drier. One reason I don't want it too wet is because it'll shrink up. The drier it is, the less it's going to shrink up. So now, let's see how that goes. So now it's a lot more drier, and look at it's barely, it's barely leaving any marks on the stone. You see? You see how wet it was down there? You can just tuck it in like that, and I'm not dirtying the brick. I don't want to dirty the brick. Now usually before I point up something, I dig in there, I see if I can get it all out, I use a wire brush, I use a paintbrush, and I'll try to get everything out of there. Then it's ready to be repointed. Now I could tuck it in there, just like that. 
You see, I'm not causing a mess because the cement is drier. And I'm not making a mess. I don't want to make a mess. You see that? Just like that. And you clean it off. You could uh, use this if you want it to get it right. But sometimes the drier it is, the better off you are. And then just wipe it off. Then in the morning we come, we uh, scrub it all off and we're good. Now here's the question. Should I wet it first? When you wet it, you're gonna make a big mess. Brickwork, 90% of the time, you don't wet it, all right? You just don't wet it because you're gonna make a mess. And the drier the cement, the better off you are. A lot of times. Sometimes you can put it in and sponge it if it's a glass type of brick. You see that? Now just to point, prove my point, I'm going to make it more dry. Look at how dry this is. See that? See how dry that is? See, sometimes the drier the better. We're not making a mess. See how we tuck that in there? There's no mess. Same thing over here. It's not making a mess. If we wet it, we're gonna make a mess. We don't wanna do that. Now let's say you wanna wet it because you don't think it's gonna stick good enough. So you get a little paintbrush like this, a little water, and you get in there and wet it, but you don't wanna wet the surfaces. You wanna stay inside. Because if you don't do that, you're gonna make a mess. You see? And then you could tuck it in there and it's damp. I did a video on Conway Castle when they were restoring it with lime. That's what they did in the old days. See, that's good. That joint's filled right in there. Tuck it in. We got it in. See? We're not making a mess. So we got this. This is what they call a dry pack. You see how dry it is? It's a dry pack. I wouldn't use it flat on the ground, but for brick, it, it's okay. Now this is about an hour later, and we just brush it off. Look at that. That cleaned that up real nice. Look at how white this got in just an hour. It just sucks the water right out of there. You can go over it again if you want. No big deal. Like I said. See that? Now we could clean that tomorrow. And that'll be all good. Now let's say you want to get these cross joints, right? You get your cement. You make sure it sticks. And then all you do is you go like that and you get it in see like that get it in and then you can play with it a little bit as you go you gotta practice that's all just go over the side and practice just like that put it in no big deal see I'm not dirty and everything Sometimes you got the little small joint down here. You could use your like a rubber glove if you want. And once you get it in there, sometimes just a real rubber glove to go over the sides like that. Then get your water and your sponge and just go over it. See, that's the way you do stonework is like that. See that? Depends on the brick though. So then that's all jointed up. And then tomorrow, just get the hose and wash it off. You should be fine. Now here's a little trick. What I got in here is some mud. See it? It's mud from right around the area. Get a little water, I put it in the mud, and I stir it up. 
and I take that mud and I paint that joint with that mud and if you ever see someone put a new joint in a new brickwork and it doesn't match the old brickwork that mud will stain that and sink into that and it will make it look old there are other ways to do it so they also made colors you see they make this coloring you could buy in cement this is a little bit old school but what you would do is you would get a little cement like this right you put it inside you take a little coloring and you'd mix it up and when you get think you got the right color you get a hair dryer to test it and then you would paint that and that would stain the joint so it matched the other cement work now I have a couple videos out about that it's called matching cement joints and relaying brick and on there I show you how I would match cement joints and I have another one called using colored cement and dyes and I show you my experience with that and what I would do in certain cases also sometimes we have a bad brick with a bad chip in it so we have to saw the face off of another brick and then glue it on and that that video is called brick wall repair part two so if you ever come across that you'll know how to do that now when it comes to using cement everybody thinks a little bit different so I just gave you a general idea check with your local people see what kind of cement they use and if you ever have to do a job like that go and get yourself some extra brick go on the side and before you do anything practice with them get and get the feel of it because most people go and then they go to the part that's bad and they slop the whole job up and that's what we don't want we want you to practice a little bit get the feel of it make sure it works for you and then go from there so I think I went far enough with this video I'm gonna leave it where it is there's different ways to do it some of the new schoolers I heard they put it in squeeze bags they told me and, and do it that way and they wait until it sets up uh, some a lot of different techniques some of the old castles where it's lime mortar they actually sponge it in different techniques all over the world it doesn't matter whatever's gonna work but I when it comes to cleaning with acid usually small jobs I stay away from the acid I don't like to use it I have a video called cleaning stone and brick with acid part 2 now when I was doing those big union jobs or big industrial jobs you couldn't clean it every day so at the end of the job you clean it with acid but for little small jobs you're pointing up I don't like to use it probably my best video and repointing is my chimney repair videos part 10 that'll show you how I do it I mean sometimes you could just get the rubber glove stick your finger there and join it up so I think I said it enough with the video you get the idea the way I approach it every mason approaches it different I appreciate you watching I'll see you next video